militant affection. Militant affection. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Militant Affection. I am your host, Matt Miller, and I am watching Star Wars The Force Awakens right now. I had never watched it. I am not a Star Wars guy. I'm about... How far am I? Whew, 24 minutes in. I'll tell you what I like about this one. There's a black guy in it. That's good. Disney Plus. Disney. Having black characters is good. Tell you what else I like about it. Lady main character. I mean, come on. It's not just white men these days. There's a whole bunch of other people that could be in shows. Or movies. Or whatever the fuck this is. Now, I'm not much of a Star Wars guy. I've never seen this. But let me tell you, it's captivating. So captivating, I decided to start recording while I was watching it to pass the time. Now, okay, I'll tell you what's happening. This is Finn. I don't know if you've seen the movie Finn. The the stormtrooper that realizes at the age of however old he is that being a stormtrooper isn't so great. Uh, He looks like uh, I'm bad with age 50. And at this point, he realizes that being a stormtrooper is bad because his buddy died and wiped blood all over him. Now, he's probably not 50. He's probably 20. Maybe playing. Maybe he's playing a teen. I don't know why it took him this long to realize that being a stormtrooper is bad. But he decided to help the good guys. I drank a six-pack of Dos Equis I don't, because I'm an adult and I can go to the store and buy it. I recently went to the DMV. You hear the background? This is Star Wars stuff. It's a guy talking like... Bah, 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 bah. And another guy. I went to the DMV and I waited because I needed to get a new license. And uh, and now I got a new license. And now I'm officially a New York resident. I waited six hours. This is my second time waiting at the fucking DMV. And uh, I jerked off in the bathroom at the DMV. Would you believe that? That's not true. I didn't. But I did eat at a Taco Bell near to the DMV. Let me tell you... Very nice. Taco Bell, always nice. You know what I do in a Taco Bell? I put fire sauce on every fucking bite because it's delicious. I got a double chalupa, dubs on the chups, dubs on the chups. And uh, look at this. There's a giant monster drinking water, and now this black dude's drinking water. Star Wars is just full of, like, imaginative things, you know? Monster drinking water, black guy drinking water. (laughs) If you, if you want to follow along, I'm at 27-27 into the movie. And you can follow along uh, with my commentary while I go through this episode. To be honest, this uh, if, you, if you get to this part, that monster had a very nice butt. I like to fuck that monster in the ass. The monster that was just drinking water. Look at this girl beating up all these fucking guys. Wow. Everything... It's just like, this is a movie, you know what I mean? The characters, the line, everything comes together. I actually didn't jerk off at the DMV. I jerked off on the DMV. I was outside of the DMV. I came onto the wall. Determine my vault of cum. (laughs) DMV. But I'm officially New York resident. And I lied about the Dos Equis. I am on my sixth... And uh, why did I start drinking? I don't know. I just ate a bunch of cookies and milk. I, I dunked the cookies in the milk. I haven't done that in a while. That was fun. Oh, now she's beating up that Finn. She's beating up Finn. That the fucking R2-D2 is electrocuting him. Star Wars is quite a movie. I don't know if you're a Star Wars head. You know what I watched? I watched Endgame, Mar- that Marvel movie. And what I didn't realize is at the end they were gonna they win. They beat Thanos. I didn't think about that before watching it, but now that I've seen it, I've come to realize they beat Thanos. <laughs> I've tried to cancel my Disney Plus because I couldn't cancel it when I was on the free trial and now I'm talking to customer support and they're like, We'll give you three to five days to see if we can refund you. And I'm hoping to be refunded on this piece of shit platform. Fucking Disney Plus. Disney Plus what? Disney Plus the N-word. That's what it is. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I'm just saying, Disney is routed in racism. Because what was that? What was the name of that freaking Splash Mountain? Was named Splash Mountain named after what movie? Splash Mountain 
named after movie. You know what I'm talking about? Anyone listening? Does anyone listen? If you want to be honest, the numbers of this podcast are soaring. Yes, Splash Mountain was na- Zippity Doo Dah River. Uh, what was the name of that fucking movie? Why is it so hard to figure this out? It was a freaking racist movie. Uh, Song of the South. <laughs> song of the South. Let me play you a little Song of the South. Do you ever listen to Song of the South? Guys, you should not support Disney. They are an evil corporation. Stop supporting Disney. They are bad. Song of the South racist. Let me Song of the South racist trigger warning. The Song of the South. Uh, yeah, let's see this. Let's watch this. Let me pause Star Wars for a minute to listen to some some racist Disney stuff. Okay, here's an ad for uh, Knives Out. If you'd like to see Knives Out, it's going to be in theaters pretty soon. Uh, but I'm just revealing the truth about Disney right now. You hear this? Early Disney films are known for being cut from the updated The Worst in Harmony problem is. The song Zippity Doo the song of the South, is utterly uncomplicated politics, but it really matters the song of the South was ever released. Slavery and racism are no longer tolerated in modern society. True. Both are still prevalent we are, current world. day is not... Young girls and uh, we don't like and racism in today's current... Oh, shit. There was, there was just a cut to like some girl in a strip club. Got a little bit of a bone during that anti-racism movie. Is this... Okay, here's a song of the South Club. It's just a black guy hanging out with these birds. Guys, don't support Disney. Look at them talking to these fucking bees. So this black dude is talking to this little cartoon uh, rabbit here. much about that clip i'm gonna go back to star wars i don't know why we took that little break there i hope you could hear what i was just listening to uh but guys song of the south is a 1946 american live action anime and musical da, da, da. let's hear about some uh, complications about the film that ma- controversies the national association for the advancement of colored people the N-C-A-P-P-A-P-Q recognized Song of the South as remarkable artistic merit in the music and in the combination of living actors and the cartoon technique. It regrets, however, that in an effort to neither to offend audiences in the North or South, the production helps perpetuate a dangerously glorified picture of slavery, making use of the beautiful Uncle Ramus folklore. The Song of the South unfortunately gives the impression of an idyllic master-slave relationship, which is a distortion of the fact. So the uh, so, so this song of the South makes racism seem okay, <laughs> or it makes slavery seem okay, and uh, yeah. So Disney is a bunch of fucktards. Now Disney owns everything. Disney owns 20th Century Fox, which means now Disney owns The Simpsons. Do you know that? And you really should not support Disney. They are bad for the world. They have a certain. They're racist. They don't like Jews. Disney doesn't like Jews. You know that. Disney hates fucking Jews. Disney wants to step on Jews and make them blow up. Disney wants to step on Jews and makes them blow up. Disney hates Jews. Let's Google this real quick. Disney hates Jews. Uh, why kids today think Disney was a Jew hating Hitler loving uh, something or other? The Walt Disney hated Jews and black accusation was the most vile mistruths. Okay. 
Uh, people, I guess some people saying it's not true. But I mean, if you go to cartoonbrew.com, they don't think it's true, but I'm not going to, I don't have time for, re- I'm on a podcast. I don't have time to read this shit. All I know is that Disney is bad. Even if all these things tell me it's not, I feel like it's still bad. Here we go. Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse, and the Nazis. Jewishpress.com is the, my number one location for news. Let me lower Star Wars. I'm talking very loud, and Star Wars is very loud. The thing about, like, star, this, this Star Wars The Force Awakens came out. I mean, it came out a little bit ago now, right? But it, it kind of looks shitty. I don't know, like shooting it, like I mean, obviously it looks good, but like the even the graphics are still are dated at this point. All right, JewishPress.com can send breaking news. No thanks, I don't want no kike sending me shit. I can say that my dad's Jewish. Okay, what does this tell me? Walt Disney, a worldwide culture icon, was an animator, film producer, and entrepreneur. Uh. Considerable evidence exists to support the proposition that Walt Disney was an anti-Semite. Although, as we shall see, the record is decidedly muddled and Neil Gabler, Walt Disney's personal biographer, vehemently denies the charge. It is somewhat difficult to isolate fact from fiction. For example, the allegation that Walt had a private meeting with Hitler and developed a relationship with him is sheer nonsense. But it's true that he went out of his way to meet Mussolini. So Hitler, I mean, uh, uh, Disney met Mussolini, Italian fuckface, in World War II, because he loves the uh, fucking, uh, the fucking uh, Grisia Mussolini, and he wanted to hang out with him, and he was a racist. He was a fucking, uh, uh, he was a racist. He was a, 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 Do not support Disney. If you do, actually, fuck it, I don't care. You like what you like. You like your art. I don't care what anyone likes. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Uh, if it, if this podcast gets taken down because in the background you can hear a Disney movie, so be it. So be it. I appreciate you listeners. Also, review the cast. Throw me a review. I'm, I'm t- over 12 minutes in. Throw me a review, okay? This this podcast is... the, the I'm looking at the ratings and the amount of people downloading it. It's Every day it's fucking boop, 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 going up. Give me a review. Throw me a review, you know? People need to know that Disney is bad. Even Gabler, the guy that... Uh, talked about Walt Disney concedes that Walt willingly even enthu- even enthusiastically embraces anti-Semites and casts his fate with them and the Walt Disney Family Museum acknowledges as it must that Disney included ethnic stereotypes in some of its early cartoons hmm cool figure when Walt visited Munich in 1935 Nazi news per- newspapers warmly welcomed him as a hero who stood up to the Jews of Hollywood <laughs> Oh. Interestingly, the Sleeping Beauty castle that Walt later built at Disneyland closely resembles the Neschwinstein castle he saw in Bavaria during his trip. Let me lower Star Wars a little more here, just just so you can hear how racist fucking uh, Walt Disney Walt was. Walt never met with Hitler, but it is beyond dispute that the Fuhrer adored Disney's work. Hitler loved Disney. And if you love Disney, that's something you have similar to Hitler. How do you feel about that? If you love Disney, you're similar to Hitler. Goebbels, G-O-E-B-B-E-L-S, is said to have presented 12 Disney short films to Hitler as a Christmas present in 1937, which the latter treasured. Hitler was determined and ordered Goebbels to create a Nazi animation studio and production company that would rival Disney. But the result was Deutsch Zinkenfilm GmbH, which ultimately produced only a few Nazi propaganda cartoons. Okay. uh, In an infamous Three Little Pigs cartoon, part of Disney's Silly Symphony series, the Big Bad Wolf is drawn with a Der Sturmer. Like, exaggerated depiction of a Jewish nose, a long, scraggly black beard, and a Jewish hat. Dressed like a Jewish peddler. The wolf speaks with a thick Yiddish accent as he tries to cheat the homeowner pig. <laughs> so they, they so in Three Little Pigs, the Disney movie, they made like a Jew pig. I mean, a Jew wolf that tried to Jew down the pigs. So that's his, that doesn't seem good. Pigs, of course, metaphorically represent everything repulsive to Jews. 
Although it's unclear if the producer specifically intended viewers to make this association. The pig, however, is not fooled by the skies and proceeds to beat the evil Jew through the door. In response to protesters by the American Jew Jewish Congress, the wolf was r later re-edited and changed into a fuller brush door-to-door -door salesman. But Walt never understood why his portrayal, his portrayal was objectionable, and the wolf retained his beard and accent in later versions. Now, frankly, I think that's pretty funny, and I would have liked to have seen the original with the Jew wolf, but I mean... Walt Disney, anti-Semite. Disney owns Star Wars. If you like Star Wars, you are an anti-Semite. That's all I'm saying. And Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 1937, the evil witch's hook nose, hunch bearing, and general demeanor of seduction are wholly evocative of the anti-Semite stereotype prevalent at the time. In Pinocchio, the cunning puppet master who manifests a total lack of any moral imperative and is interested only in amassing great wealth is the unambiguous incarnation of the Jewish skinflint. The classic Jewish skinflint. If you don't know about the Jewish skinflint, you are an idiot. Let me Google the Jewish skinflint for a second. What the fuck? No skin for a skinflint. What the fuck is this? For the band skin? There's a band called Sp Skinflint. Penny Pinchers, the Jewish Stancher, <laughs> in Cheap We Trust. All right, this is getting pretty good. Jewish Skin Flint. What is a Skin Flint? Uh, make sure to review the cast. If you heard this, Skin Flint. Oh, a person who spends as little money as possible, a miser, or a Jew. That's true. I have Jewish in my blood, and I try to spend as little money as possible. I was trying to cancel my Disney Plus. They charged me for the month, and I want that fucking six ninety nine back. I'm not just gonna throw them six ninety nine. Fuck Disney, you know? They don't deserve my six ninety nine. God damn it! I made fried chicken today, if you're wondering, and it, it was fine. I I didn't have twelve spices like KFC. I had like I put in some pepper and some salt, and I crunched up some Doritos and shit. And I uh, put some paprika and uh, some chili powder. No, it wasn't even chili powder. It was fucking uh, another spicy shit. And they tasted fine. I don't know. I think I fucked it up. Skin flint, though. That's a fun word. That's what you can call a Jew. A skin flint. At least that's what Disney wants you to call a Jew. You fucking uh, anti-Semitic Disney. In the Opry House, Mickey Mouse dresses up and performs a caricature of a dancing... Chizanic Jew, comparable to a blackface portrayal of African Americans, and in the Wayward Canary, Minnie Mouse, for some inexplicable inexplicable reason, owns a cigarette lighter bearing a swastika. Now, folks, if you're still on Disney's side at this point, I'm perfect like a motherfucker. Then you're anti-Jew, and I get why Jews are very annoying. <laughs> Oh, this is the scene where fucking Harrison Ford so it shows up with the Wookiee. Oh, here he is. Oh, my God. Star Wars so amazing, dude. Look at they are. Oh, I bet in the movie theater, like, when all you fucking nerds saw this, you all, you, all you guys are probably like, yeah, this old white guy and this fucking dog creature showed up. Let's fuck each other in the face. Oh, look at they're met with the heroes. Wow, this Star Wars shit is amazing. These characters are beautiful. George Lucas, bravo. All right. Some critics argue further that the Sorcerer and the Sorcerer's Apprentice segment from Fantasia, with his conspicuous hooked nose, long beard, large head covering, and chants from a strange and mythical Talman-like tone, is an anti-Semitic trope. Moreover, in an unmistakable allusion to Moses at the Red Sea, he splits the floodwaters with a dramatic raising of his hands. <coughs> Finally, it's interesting to note that composer Abraham Dukas, inspiration for the music of the Sorcerer's Apprentice, was the, f was the famous tale of the Golem of Prague. All right. Not surprisingly, Walt respected auto industry tycoon Henry Ford. Everybody fucking respects Henry Ford. Fuck Ford cars. Ford cars are terrible. Don't support Ford. I had Ford and fucking always broke and fucking fuck fuck. 
a notorious anti-Semite. There you go. Henry Ford is a notorious anti-Semite. If you're driving around a Ford, you're supporting the murder of Jew bastards. And Union Buster, who reciprocated his esteem and said he admired him for being a successful self-made Protestant in a field dominated by Jews. This is what Walt Disney said. Okay. Everyone goes to Disney, walking around. There's no hate here. It's just Mickey Mouse and other guys sucking. It's just guys sucking each other's dick and Mickey Mouse. And everyone's sucking each other's dick. And it's Mickey Mouse. And everyone's sucking each other's dick. What if I... <laughs> I don't know what that little tirade there. Just I'm not going to cut it, but imagine it was cut from the podcast. Also, thanks for listening. Please review the podcast. Peter Bart, the editor of Variety, reports that when he once asked Walt a question, he responded, let me check with my Jew. Hmm. So all in all, Disney hates Jews. See, fucking, you can check JewishPress.com right now and learn how much he hates Jews. Okay, look, here's a little ad. Ruth Bader Ginsburg hospitalized in Baltimore this weekend. What if it was Ruth Master Bader Ginsburg? I don't even know what Ruth Bader Ginsburg does. What the fuck? Who is Ruth Bader? I know the name. Is is she like a Supreme Court justice? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I'm kind of an idiot. I don't I mean not knowing that oh yeah, Supreme Court oh, so I was right. Of course she is. She went to Columbia. She has kids. Her spouse is Martin D. Ginsburg. He died in 2010. What does he look like? Uh, He was buried in Arlton National Cemetery. Uh, Wow. He was uh, part of the Council of Fried Frank Harris, Shriver, and Jacobson. Okay, this is a little history about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. In case you're wanting Ruth Master Bader Ginsburg. Uh... A Jew, big Jew bag, Jew bag McGee. And you should care because Disney hates Jews. So we got to keep our famous Jews intact. Now, Hollywood is still run by Jews, so don't worry. Given Disney's proclivity for attending pro-Nazi meetings in L.A., it is difficult to believe that some of his best friends were Jews. Uh, okay, so... That was just a comment on it where someone commented something. And that is interesting how much Disney hated Jews. Disney, fucking Disney, fucking every corporation. Why do we support anything? You know, why do people even like shit? (laughs) Why do people even do anything? Why does anyone like any fucking shit? You know what I'm saying? Everything's bad. Everything's not good. We're all just evil, right? We're all just evil folks. I, uh, I I auditioned for uh, America's Got Talent yesterday, which was fun. I waited for like six hours to go. I was doing stand up, and I like they didn't give you a mic, and you're just I was in front of this. Uh, he was like a Dutch guy, who was the producer, and they had a camera, and I told like some of my jokes. I told this joke, which is like it's a real crowd pleaser, but I think it's too edgy for America's Got Talent. It's uh, like a lot of like. When they say, like, a politician is anti... Let me lower fucking Star Wars for a second. Oh, man, I got a burp, too. God. Fuck. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I haven't drank soda in a while. I think it's all these beers. Well, like, they say when a politician is anti... What the fuck is this monster coming into Star Wars trying to eat everything? That's pretty cool. I like this scene. He's trying to eat Harrison Ford and the Wookers and the fucking robot. Where did this guy come from? This is pretty fun. A fucking monster. A fucking monster fucking wants to kill. Monsters want to kill. Paying all your bills. Staying kind of ill. Getting on your fill. Talking to you, Jill. Taking some pills. Rhyming away. Fucking anyway. Okay, now the joke is, when they say what a politician is like anti-gay that he's probably secretly gay right if a politician doesn't like gay people they say he's probably secretly gay but i just think like if you hate something that doesn't make you in it right because when they make a lot of politicians secretly black 
Take it to the man. That was my closer joke on my America's Got Talent edition. My politically charged humor. And I don't know if it went over well. I, don't, I think that's a little too risque for America. Risque? Risque for America's Got Talent. The whole thing was fucking retarded. Everyone in there was so serious. The people behind me, there's these two kids that were like rappers. And they're like, all right, this is my rhyme. He's like, I'm in New York City. So, you know, I'm in the square. I'm not in a different state. I'm not over there. And he's like, that's good. <laughs> these fucking kids behind me that are they're trying to audition for rap. And then the guy's like, you got to like. When you intro, don't just, like, be, be creative. Be, he kept saying, be creative, you know? When you enter yourself, like, rap about you. He's like, say, my name's John. I live with my mom. I'm alone in the basement. Something's song. Like, I'm actually trying to rhyme, but he actually, like, when he gave an example of how to intro himself, the kid didn't even, like, rhyme. He's just like, my name's John. I live with my mom. I'm in the basement. I eat tacos. He's like, yeah, that's how you should intro yourself. The people of this fucking audition are retarded. And that also makes me retarded because I was there. Someone had a dog. I watched like a nine-year-old kid try out singing that song Shallow from... uh, What the fuck is that movie? The fucking Born to be a Star movie. And uh, she's not going to make it. There was this guy who was like... Who was like in... He was this tall, skinny guy. Probably like 6'7", wearing like a tie-dye suit. He was there with his fat wife and like his, his whole like act was like, he like step danced while shittily playing the guitar and it was garbage. Uh, most of people's acts were garbage. Someone was doing poetry while dancing and like fucking poetry is stupid. Poetry is fucking, it's his poetry was bad. His poetry was like. In this world, taken down all around. And he was like doing body rolls and shit as his audition and stopping. He's like, Earth, the sun, the moon takes my desire away. I fall forever to the ground. I'm just making this up because poetry, like, I could be a fucking slam poet. You're just, it's fucking stupid. Slam poetry is fucking stupid. Everyone that does it is fucking stupid. You're all fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm charged today. I'm fucking sure. I've been getting good sleep. I've been getting good sleep. I've been coming. I've been fu- Thanksgiving's coming up. I'm ready to take this this world by storm. Oh, here's a scene with a fucking emperor s character talking. Fucking Star Wars. His face is all fucked up. It's always interesting in these fucking Star Wars things where like the evil people are ugly, and then like the good people aren't as ugly. And it's basically telling me that if you're ugly, you're evil. Which I agree. All ugly people are evil and should be eliminated. This guy is huge. Is, let me see how far I'm into this movie. 50, 21. There's just a giant evil guy. This is, this is what Star Wars has come down to. It's just a giant evil guy. Yo, I don't even know. I mean, I, I like the first Star Wars, is, 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 I guess. But, I mean, the rest of these movies just seem ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe all the movies are ridiculous. Who do, who do I know about anything? But, yeah, the whole America's Got Italian thing was fucking retarded. The whole time I was standing in line, I'm saying retarded a lot. I was annoyed by everything, but hopefully I make it. Hopefully my talent of comedy is represented on the stage for all of America to see. Because if I don't make it, I'm going to be sad and want to fucking jump off a bridge and splatter. What if I, my last words before I killed myself were, were like, killed myself, <laughs> cur myself, killed myself, were like, why didn't I get America's Got Talent? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just too much of a jackass. Maybe I'm not a good person. But I just thought most of the people there were fucking dumb. I don't know. People are just serious. People want to... People want to be famous. People want, oh, they want to be, look at me, I'm famous. <laughs> I stand out in a fucking crowd. I'm a famous guy. I'm so famous. I suck cock for a living. I'm a famous man. I don't take anything seriously. I have $45 to my name right now. Oh, shit, I got to blow my nose, too. But yeah, if you're wondering if I have any money, I don't. 
So please support my Patreon, Matt Miller Comedy. There's other podcasts on there for you to listen to if you want. If you want to listen to them. I mean, they're pretty good. There's like some hot takes on there. I'm a hot take machine. Uh, you know, I just like to question things. Most people don't question things. Most people kind of accept the world. Not me. I question things. I'm a questioner. I'm a question man Magoo. If you ain't questioning things, you ain't fucking shit. America's Got Talent is retarded. This is a big retarded episode. If you have a retarded relative or you're retarded yourself, I apologize because that's hard. That's hard. I was thinking about, I know this is going to sound bad, like wearing a dress and pretending I was like a trans woman because I think then I could have got past the audition. What if I was in a wheelchair and I said I was blind? Then I definitely could have gone to America's Got Talent if I did all those things. Let me Google America's Got Talent. Let me pause this movie for a second. We're almost done here. Let me see America's Got Talent. Let me see what the number one clip is and we can finally judge some talent. America's Got Talent. Let's judge a clip of it, the show. All right, let's just see what comes up as the number one clip here. America's Got Talent. Talent. Top 10 America's Got Talent is the number one clip. All right, I'll just watch the first one. We'll just see what the first one is. U.S. Bank is an advertisement. If you need a good bank, U.S. Bank's the number one bank there is. Okay, top 10 America's Got Talent. Two million views. All right, number 10. This is doing some presidential shit. Oh, this guy does a Trump impersonation. My name is Donald J. Trump. I'm 70 years old. I consider myself a native New Yorker. But uh, presently, I now live in Washington, D.C. Uh, due to work. Here's the delete button on this thing. Most people, they look at Trump, they think he has everything, you know, successful businessman, reality star, president of the United States. But I'm 70 years old. I'm not going to be here forever. I'm trying to make the world a better place and spread a little joy. And that's why I'm here. I voted for you twice. You voted for me two times. Two times. Get a good pick. Who's your cameraman? I don't let, listen. I don't think about this is good. The world is a beautiful garden and I want to shine in the sun. And this spot around you and this audience is going to pay for it. Oh, it's a guy dressed as Trump singing. Okay. So there's a guy dressed as Trump singing 24 karat magic. And everyone has like an awe voice, but... It, I, I expect that to happen. Like, why? Fucking people are so fucking dumb. This is entertainment. A fucking guy doing a Trump impression. And then he sings Bruno, Bruno Mars. It's just like a plus plus. You know what I mean? It's just like take pop thing. Take president Donald Trump. Add pop thing Bruno Mars. Put it together. And we're like, what is this? Oh, we're a bunch of fucking dumb, dumb faces. God, this show is so dumb. It would be hilarious if I got on this show. That'd be great. Ah, oh, fuck. But what are you going to do? You need you need dumb people. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe everything's dumb. But you need dumb people. You need dumb people to do dumb shit. Dumb people spend money. You need people to spend money to make people rich. I don't have any money. As I told you, I have $45. So I, maybe I'm in this dumb class. But I just think this shit is shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, no, he's going to do more. He's going to do more. Let's hear a little more of this. Oh, he's doing another pop song dressed as Trump. Could you be anything more hacky? He's doing pop songs dressed as Trump. So people are like, oh, this is good. Because we like to make fun of Trump. And we like current popular music. Now, if I was a different man, I would say we need a genocide. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think uh, I think everyone's great. Uh, this podcast has been sponsored by uh, Star Wars, the new Disney Plus, the Donald Trump administration, Dos Equis Beer, America's Got Talent, and uh, fucking uh, 
Cocaine and Hookers is the last sponsor. So thanks for listening to another episode of Militant Affection. Hopefully you enjoyed me being a fucking curmudgeon of a man and not thinking anything is fun. Maybe one day I'll have another guest. I've been I uh, my guests are canceling. I plan on having more people on this shit. And there will be cuz I think you like when I talk to someone else and I'm not just fucking sitting here being a fucking fuck fuck. But thanks for listening. I'm at Matt Miller Real on everything. Matt Miller Comedy on YouTube. Make sure to check out my school. My I won't re, I won't reveal anything. Reveal anything. Make sure to check out Second Shot on YouTube. My new fucking video and review the cast. Okay, I've been Matt Miller. This is Militant Affection. Thank you. Bye. Militant affection. Militant affection.